Hey guys, let's start using Touch GPT Plus for data analysis. As you can see, we are in Chat GPT and you have GPT 3.5 and GPT 4. So go to GPT 4, you have a lot of features. We have the default, we have the Bing, we have advanced data analysis, we have plugins. And if you want to create some amazing image, you can use dial version. So click on data analysis. So as you can see here, we have a button. Yeah, with this button, you can upload your file, any kind of file you want. So I'm just going to um, drag and drop. As you can see, I have a zip file and uh, drop it inside the GPT. Or we can also click the button here to upload our file. So, so our file is ready. So what I'm going to do, uh, just click the answer button and uh, see what will happen next. So it looks like you've uploaded a file name image the zip. What would you like? me to do with this so i will ask chatgpt to give me the content of the file and uh, see what will happen yes he's processing so what you have to know about uh, data analysis gpt just use python script to get all the information and uh, to analyze your data so as you can see, you can click finish working here and you are going to see all of the information uh, within the Python contact ChatGPT used to extract and process our data. So inside uh, our folder, we have a lot of image. So we have the first image, second image, we have the some code in the text and also we have a salary which is here. He give us all the output and uh, the name that we have inside our file. So one thing also we can do when uh, we upload the image or all the information here, uh, we can also uh, ask ChatGPT uh, to analyze uh, our uh, uh, sheet, spreadsheet, salary sheet. So uh, analyze the uh, sprite sheets and uh, create some uh, uh, amazing uh, trends so let's see what will happen as you can see uh, chatgpt is creating some script so if you click on it and uh, yeah you are going to see all the script that chatgpt created and as you can see, he imports the pandas as a PD and he uses it to extract the other information. If you are familiar with Python, you can uh, take a look at, uh, have a look at all the, the Python code that he writes and to understand it and before you see uh, the output. So once he do this, the spreadsheet contains a salary uh, related information, but it seems uh, there are some header row uh, with undefined value and another not essential data so he will arrange all of them for identifying the correct header removing any unnecessary row once data is clean we can proceed with analysis and the trend uh, identification so he creates a second uh, script uh, as you can see it seemed there was an error in the, the approach or he creates another script using str and also he created as well another script as well and this side the salary sheet have been clean and now include the following co column so he renamed off all of the column that we have inside it and uh, let's process with creating some trend analysis and uh, visualization would you like to explore specific trend or should i select some analysis to perform so I don't have a specific uh, trend. If you have a specific trend to ask him, you can ask, but I don't. Can you suggest me? Can you suggest me more relevant uh, trends? Let's see what will be the output. Certainly, there are some potential trends and analysis that can be performed with the salary data. So the first one is, uh, Page distribution. There is a lot of suggestion. As you can see, he suggests that to uh, give the output 
uh, per distribution, overtime analysis, the tax and distribution analysis, the employee uh, efficiency, uh, aggregate statistic, and trend over time, and coloration time. So, and uh, he asked a question, which of this analysis would you like uh, to explore? I'm going to ask him, uh, based on the data we have inside the sheets, uh, give me four trends. Okay. Let's see. Based on the available data in the salary sheet, we can explore the following four trends. Trends of cross pay imports, impacts of overtime on EON, distribution of hourly paid rate amount employee, comparison of reduction income tax and other growth paid. So, for each of these trends, we can use the visual chart to better understand the pattern. Let's proceed with generating this analysis. So, now, GPT, uh, based of the uh, input that we give him, he give us the output. So, we don't have a lot of information inside the, the sheet. That is why you can see that the, this trend is empty and the second one as well. But, in within the distribution of uh, how we pay the rates, as we can see, we have some data and uh, the uh, deduction as uh, per percentage of crop paid. We don't have anything because we don't have a lot of information inside our sheet. So this is one way you can use uh, the advanced data analysis to uh, have the output and uh, to generate some uh, uh, trends. So one more thing I'm going to ask GPT is can you can you gather all of the trends we in a PPT presentation? Okay, so now ChatGPT is going to create a presentation and give us uh, the trends inside this presentation and also comments mm -hmm, all the trends in the editing and uh, let's see the output of this request so yeah here to generate the trends as you can see if you are familiar with uh, python he imports from a uh, library, a well known library, Matplotlib as uh, PLT and uh, Seaborn as uh, SNS. If you are familiar with uh, Python, you can just uh, take a look at uh, uh, the Python code that ChatGPT writes down and uh, let's have a look inside it. And the second request is about to create a presentation and let's see what will happen. Uh, he gave us the output of all the, the trends we asked him before and yeah as you can see the powerpoint presentation has been created with each of the four trends on the separate slide complete with title and the comments explaining each trend so he generated us the file that we can download as you can see, I'm going to click on this and download it and open it to see what is inside this uh, presentation. So, open it. We have the trend and uh, yeah, we have the title of the trend. But we don't have the expect comment that uh, we ask him. Trend of a cross page. Net. There is nothing, of course, inside because we don't have data. The second one, part of overtime on close paid as well. We have anything, and also distribution of a hourly paid rate. As you see, you have some uh, um, information, and uh, the last one, uh, we have a deduction of as a percentage of crop paid. So, and uh, he comments all of the trends down as you can see at the bottom here 
uh, we have some uh, description. So this trend show a positive correlation between the growth pain and the net pain. So GPT is very, very, very smart, smart within the data analysis. So one more thing I'm going to ask him, give me the best way to enhance all the image I have inside the folder and let's see the output of this okay enhancing the image uh, typically involves a variety of uh, technique depending on the what aspect of the image you want to improve so as you can see he gave us some output about how you can enhance the image so what i need if you go ahead inside our prompting as you can see we have some image here so i'm going to ask gpt to enhance the quality of uh, all of this so you can use this advanced data analysis to enhance the image you have okay so you have some adjusting brighten and contrast you can do it you have color correction so i'm going to ask a color correction so I'm going to ask a color correction and uh, what else? I'm going to see the output of this and also ask him to put up the image inside our presentation and to comment down all the image that we have. And let's see the results. So the color correction has been applied to the images enhancing their color by a factor of 1.5 the enhanced image have been saved to a new directory so he creates where we can download the image so click down a second time find no found what happened maybe uh, i'm having some uh, trouble with my internet and uh, yeah let's click nothing so i'm going to resubmit uh, the question one more time maybe that will solve my uh, my problem and let's see uh, the output of this so this is one way you can use uh, advanced data analysis you can use it uh, within a, a lot of things uh, to enhance your image quality to extract data from uh, your Excel spreadsheet, to give uh, some uh, out amazing output, trend, and so on. It depends on your uh, what you are going to do. Okay. So as you can see, he put all the image that I have inside my file, and I'm going to click on the first one to download it. Click on it and uh, see if there is some enhancement about this image. Okay, so this is the output. It seems to be uh, not bad, not bad. And uh, to close the topic, I'm going to ask him uh, add all the image in a separate slide in separate slide and comment them as well okay let's see the results even i don't specify that it might be inside the last presentation so uh, you have to specify it that it is uh, uh, inside the last presentation if you want to gather all the information within one presentation okay you can do that and uh, let's see the results so guys if you are new watching my video please subscribe and uh, hit the notification button so that you do not miss any video because i'm talking about a, a variety of content so uh, please uh, subscribe to this channel so he created as well uh, the uh, last presentation and uh, just download the presentation here and uh, see what's inside this presentation okay open the presentation as you can see here he just gather all the information 
uh, or the image that we have inside the presentation and uh, uh, the comments and we have to close this you have to just drag the image and see the comment that we give we just give uh, the comments because we don't specify the comment that he have to put uh, inside our our presentation so this is uh, uh, one thing that you can do when you analyze your data you ask ChatGPT to give an output inside the presentation and uh, give a specific uh, description about what exactly you need to do within the presentation so ChatGPT can give you the right um, output about what you need 